Um, 3D experience, how important is it to get the bed and nozzle temp up to print up before doing a mesh with easy ABL? It is moderately important. That's with any ABL probe. And it's not because of the probes. It is because the bed geometry changes as you heat it. Does that make sense? So as your, your bed is heating up, it is changing shape slightly. Like on some of these printers, you can take a dial indicator, mount it to your hot end, like stick it on there so it doesn't move. And then tell it to heat, okay? And you'll see it change height. That's why. We don't have you guys preheat the bed and stuff with our ABL kits. And the BL Touch doesn't even bother telling you to do this. Um, we do this because it, it's important. And a lot of people think it's because we're, we because our sensors drift with temperature. It's not. We do that because the beds change geometry as they're heated. Even the most flat beds will still warp a tiny bit. But on these Chinese printers that have these cheap aluminum beds are usually rolled, they are going to change, they're going to deform, and they're going to be slightly different every single time they heat and cool. That's another reason we tell you, get a new mesh, run a G29 every single print. Now, if you're a BL Touch user, that's really painful because their probes are so damn slow. If you're an easy ABL user, it takes less than 30 seconds on most printers, unless you're running like a billion points. On most printers with a 3x3 or 5x5 grid, less than 30 seconds for a 3x3 and less than a minute for a, for a 5x5, like way faster. Um, I run three by threes on every single one of my printers at this point, even, even that big guy, three by three grid works great. Um, because the, mo the chances are most of the beds you're warping is, is typically either going to be your bed dipping down or bowing up in the center and having a three by three grid. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three takes care of, it gets you close enough. It's not ever going to be perfect. The way to get it perfect would be getting a really expensive bed that is, you know, milled out, like actually machined out from a cast aluminum plate, but that's hundreds of dollars. Nobody wants to do that. So the next thing is you just you just put a compensation method on there, which is what the auto bed leveling does. If you like this clip, this is taken from our Ask Tim stream that we do every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Central Time. So if you want to watch that whole stream, you can go ahead and click here. Otherwise, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button and make sure to change the bell to all notifications to get notified when we go live in the future.